All right, so what's poppin' everybody and welcome back to some more Coromon over here on the channel. Hope you guys are still enjoying the series. We're on episode number three of the series. Uh, hopefully everything's good. Hopefully. Uh, thank you so much for the condolences and like the uh, the messages from the last episode because I did kind of like share what was going on through my weekend, which is actually the reason why there wasn't an episode yesterday. But this episode today, um, I'm good. I'm good for everybody wondering. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you for caring and asking and wishing you all or whatever but appreciate you anyway welcome back we made it to i forgot the name of the town but we're here to basically fix or we have a quest to fix the teleporter and also somebody told me to go to the library and there's a kid with a book on his head that will give me the experience share i don't know where i think that's i think that's the library right here but it's not letting me go up in there, so I think I gotta go all the way back to the, uh, to the thing, to the, to the, to the, to the main town. We pretty much have to go all the way back, literally all the way back, uh, to go and get this and finish the side quest so we can activate the teleporter for this thing. Which, I mean, I'm not really too much, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not against per se. I'm, the, this game is kind of like, this is a short, very, very short route, so like, it's not that crazy. But, but y'all were in the comment sections basically telling me to like really look out for like potent Coromon and I don't know what is like the, the, the traits and whatnot, like what are the good, uh, what's the word, what are the good uh, natures or whatever there are in this game, but I will be on the lookout for some potent Coromon. Do I actually have any potent Coromon? Let us find out. Uh, where would that be though? Would it be... Standard. Okay, so I'm guessing that's potential. That like the so poor so potent is potential, right? So I'm looking standard, standard, standard. Uh, what about you? Standard again. What about you? Standard again. Man. Standard. It just doesn't look like. <laughs> it just look like. Anything crazy, but okay, whatever. I guess that's fine. Go ahead, open this chest really quick. Thank you. I gotta talk to somebody right here. I think it's you. Hey, are you Tim? That's right, and who might you be? I'm Nick. Noah sent me here. He said he ordered a package from you, but it hasn't arrived yet. And that's right, I almost forgotten about it. But just a little while ago, I remember to send it. It didn't have to go far. It should be arrived by now. If it hasn't already yet, then the package must be somewhere between here and Hayville. Perhaps you can have a look around Radiant Park. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for your help. All right, well, there goes that broken teleporter. Okay. So it's somewhere in the Radiant Park now. So let me go ahead and find out where that's at. Wherever that may be. Uh, where would it be at? Uh, SB Cake. Ah! Oh, sorry. I started to jump that while Coromon jumped me. A Coromon, they only jump at you when you walk through grass. And you don't have your own Coromon to battle them? Yes, I do, but I forgot to bring any healing cakes for them and my entire squad fainted. I can't go through that grass anymore. I'm trapped here. Now I'll never deliver this package. Him! Do you mean the package meant for Noah? Yes, but I'll never get there on Coromon. Oh, I'm so stupid. Hmm, I can escort you through the head grass. Okay. Really? Would you do that for me? Thank you so much. Okay, lead the way. All right, so yeah. We, we literally found it. Or found him, rather. Thank the heavens. Here, hello. We made it, thank you so much. You're welcome, but what about the package? Ah yes, well I'm quite behind on my schedule now. Perhaps you could deliver the package to Noah for me. That way I can catch up on my other deliveries. I can do that. Great, here's the package. Noah's package, there you go. Huh? What's this in my pocket? A luxury call? I've had this the whole time. <laughs> Yo, oh you look at, <laughs> look at that. Time to go. Thanks again. Okay then, we finally got the broken tele, or we finally got the the package for Noah. We just gotta go get Noah now. Let me go and skip to him right now. All right, Noah, big dog, yo, where is he at? Right here, right here, I think. Yeah, Noah, Noah, bro, Nick, there you are. Do you have any news? I do. Tim sent the package, but the delivery man got delayed in Radiant Park. Oh, what happened? He forgot healing cake, so his entire squad fainted. Haha, <laughs> beginner's error, but what happened to the package? I took over for him. I got the package right here. Thank you. This is great. 
With these parts, I'll get the machine up and running in no time. I'll get right to it. It took long enough already. Ah! There, that's it. All the parts are finally installed. Now for some final calibrations, and done! It should be fully operational now. Quest completed. Tell me, Nick, have you ever used a teleporter before? Uh, nope. Most towns have a trainer hub with the teleporter, so you can travel there quickly. But you can only travel to a teleporter once teleporter your gauntlet has synchronized with. This happens automatically when you visit a town which a teleporter is located. And now, thanks to you, travel trainers can travel to and from our little village. Why don't you try it out? You'll be able to travel between here and Lux Soul. Okay. Do I ever need to do all that? I'm right over here, Yazerski. Yeah, okay. Kinda cool. I go back to you. Okay. What about now? Valua is in your debt, thanks to you. Everyone can travel from Haven with these. Okay, well, thank you. All right, well, there goes that. Um, Though I don't feel like that's all I have to do up in this town, though. To be honest, I feel like there's more to this place, but I don't know. I kind of don't know what, what it is we got we can do now, huh? Uh, Seems broken. Uh, Is he okay? Whoa. What is Beezle doing here? Why is he doing here? That's a question. Slam. Oh my god. Luckily for me, I got my own Beezle. You know what I'm saying? And your HP is decreased. So that means nothing to me. Oh my god, a lot of damage. Uh. Huh. Mine should do more. A little bit. Venomous Bees? Are you serious? I don't resist that at all, though. That's kind of weird. Are you serious? No way. I should resist this. And this should kill. Goodbye. Thank you. Next. Weasel, weasel. There goes that. Yazerski. Thank you. Okay. Ooh, okay. Uh, I definitely want some more attacks on you for sure. Yeah, I definitely want some more attacks on you for sure. Defense as well. Confirm. Phew, thanks for that. Thought I was a goner. I was just working on this fence here and suddenly this beasel stuck up on me. Anyway, thanks for helping me out. I'm glad I could help. Since you were working on that fence, are you by any chance the blacksmith parent? Oh, the one and only. There's no better blacksmith around. Who's asking? My name is Nick. I was sent by Riggle to find you. Ah, to have an essence collector installed, I presume. Alright, well, let's just get right to it then. Come, let's go. Okay. I was going to go here anyway, huh? Hey, you are. Welcome to the workshop, Nick. Wow. From the looks of this workshop, you must be quite busy. Sh I, I sure am. I've been making spinach almost, almost day and night. Uh, for, for, or for the last few weeks, or for the last few weeks. I see this, right? For the last few weeks, uh, I'm one of the few people working for Lux Solus that are skilled enough to make spinners. So, I, I've been working hard, but... I can help you with your gauntlet. I'm quite familiar with Lux Solar's technology, so it shouldn't take long to install a module. Thanks, here's my gauntlet, and here's the module. Thank you. And here, meanwhile, you can use the spare gauntlet. Thanks. Right, I'll get back. Okay, I'll get to it then. Oh, while I'm working on your gauntlet, why don't you visit the library? You can pick up the... Okay, I got you. Yo, definitely will, uh... Come back once you read them all. Okay. All right, so it to the library now. Better get started. Okay. Let him rock and do his thing. The sprite work in this game is really good. I know uh, I know. I've seen a lot of people talk about that uh, in the first episode, in the second episode, about how the sprite work in this game is really, really good. But I never really said anything about it myself, uh, besides, like, I think, like, the video a while ago. But this game really is good. I think, I think a lot of people's only complaint is the fact that, like, uh, all the characters' heads are huge <laughs> for some reason, and I guess that makes sense. Hopefully, this game does come out uh, soon. I definitely don't want to play this game and kind of like have to wait like months for this thing to come out. So, like I was told, I'm looking for somebody uh, with a book on his head. 
Is it you? Um, hello there. Okay. Oh, did you want something? Yes, parents told me that I could find books for beginning trainers here. Do you know where I can find them? I'm a brother parent. Hmm. Hmm. He doesn't understand the power of knowledge. He mocks me for reading all these books. He says I should contribute to the town. Instead, he's working on his anvil all day. Now, what does that do? In reality, the pen is mightier than the sword, right? Um, I guess so. A fellow book lover, it seems. I misjudged you. Here, let me help you get some books. For beginner training, like you said, I, I just... Okay. I know, just the ones. Yes, this one. Cormon Basics? No, this book is too basic. But it could be handy for someone else, perhaps. Ah. Uh, one more over here. And the last one. If you read all these, you'll know everything a beginning trainer should know. Perhaps you'll even be able to pass to Jebediah's quiz. He likes to think he's the smartest, so he challenges others to a battle of wits. He often hangs around the reading room. Well, here you go. Trainer handbook. Korma handbook. Potential handbook. Stats handbook. There's a lot of reading material. Study well and you'll become a trainer that's not to trifled with. Not to be trifled with. I'll keep an eye out for the other books that might be useful for you. Okay. Uh, Alright. Well, uh, what is this? It's so tiny, but what is it? It's a lot of books. So obviously, Marin is the person I'm looking for, but not the person I should be talking to about the experience share. Maybe... A stinky scent, like a repel. I'm studying hard so I can join Lux Solis and become a strong trainer, but, but the books Marin gave me were too complex for me. I'm looking for a specific... Wait, what? I have I, this guy right here. Why do you carry a book in your head? What do you mean? Only the smartest person in town is allowed to wear this awesome hat. I can see you're glancing at it. Do you think you should be, we don't want to wear it? I think it would be good on me. Well, you have to defeat me first. But that's impossible because I'm the smartest person around. I'll show you. Okay. A Coromon battle in the library? No, no, no. Not that kind of battle. We'll find out who is the most. Okay. What do you say? Let's do it. Watch this. I'll put you to test even more. Here we go. The speed of a storm determines its critical chance. True. So close, but that's not correct. Really? Really? What? How many times are there? It should be like eight. What? Okay. All right, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna do this right now. I'm gonna do this right now. Here we go. The speed stat, it's false. Okay, the attack. Okay. For, for my, may catch false. Correct. How many? I've known to exist of a lure. 418. That's right. Magic is very effective against ghost. Correct. Damage is dealt is always determined by the attack stat. False. Okay. How many types are there? So there so eight wasn't the seven. We have approximately one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. What? Thirteen. Correct. There's seven core mon types and this was six skill types. Water is effective against water is effective against sand and fire. Okay, Koromon of a discipline is a... Uh, false. Indeed, okay. How many potential value variations are there? Uh, there should be three. So close. Wait, what? Nothing. Okay, damage is dealt. False. Okay, how many types are there? 13. Correct. The speed stat determines false. It's the attack. Air is effective against... Fire. Correct. Uh, the following is a trainer rule of Alua. 
Trainers may not catch Koromon own. That's true. Correct. A trainer battles you to a battle you accept, right? That's right. Koromon have a different potential. Uh, false. Okay. How many how many potential value points are there? Huh. How many Koromon species are known to exist in what is it? It's I think it's like 118. That's how I got it, right. Um, next. What is this? You bested me? Here, take this. A bookworm. Okay. I take this as well. A lazy gem. Okay. Jesus Christ. A lazy gem? What is a lazy gem? A lazy gem? What is this? Where is it at? A lazy gem? Earn some experience when I can give it to somebody. Ooh. I'm gonna give it to Lu Yu right here. Alright, well, there goes that. Um, okay, so I think that's it uh, for. Uh, uh, Y'all see this right here? What is this? Whoa, whoa, this is deep. Why is he just sitting here? This time we didn't have technology in this town. But what is that? What is he doing here? Why? What does he? What does he want? Yo, are you done? You should be done. No, Nick. There you are. I just finished your gauntlet. The essence collector is installed, ready to go. I'll take back that spirit gauntlet first. Thank you. I've saw another module for you as well. The push module. Consider it a gift from a friend. Here you go. Okay. Thank you. Push. Thank you so much. But what is push module? Okay. Oh, you can upgrade it to. Okay, no modules. When I install, it gives you the strength of a blacksmith. You'll be able to push anything out of your way. Like logs and loose rocks. Just press the secondary button to activate your... Okay, I got you. Why don't you try the push module in my backyard? There's a log. Okay. See ya. So there goes that. There goes our second module. So right here is where we got a bop. Mink. Yeah. Uh, are y'all good? Okay. Moon. Plane spinner, thank you. What is this? Ooh, detox cake, okay. So now we have access to like push these big, big, humongous uh, boulders out of the way, which is great because that's all you really want to do. I think there is a side quest you gotta do where you gotta like destroy all the, uh... hello. Nick, it's me, Beth, from the local trainer club. You're, r you're a trainer, right? Could I ask you a small favor? Shit, what is it? A while ago, a passing trainer left a lot of squirming in our care, but they became very aggressive and they evolved into a beasel. Uh, they just flew right out of our yard. They're a menace to the village I feel responsible. Since you're the only trainer in town at the moment, could you get rid of all six of them for me? Okay, leave it to me. Thank you. Please return to me when the trainer help you taking care of them. All right, well, that's great. We got to take care of something we just did not do, right? So... We already know where one of them is. We know where no, we know where a lot of them are actually. Okay, go ahead, and pop this off because there's a there's something up in here that I wanted to grab. That I wanted to grab. He's gonna find it. I think it's out here. This is right here. Bank. Whoop. There you go. Give me this. This is a toxic scent. Okay, a protein scent and a charge scent. Okay. Uh. Okay. All right. All right. So, I'm not sure how long these battles are going to take me. But I should be able to just destroy anything, right? I know where one of them is at. One is right here. Hello, yo, yo, sir. How you doing, King? Now he wants the battle. Okay, that makes sense. His Beezo looks different than mine. Anybody else noticing that? Why does this one look so different? Oh, he's raging. Okay, come on. All right, we got to have him do this right. There you go. 500 experience, dude. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. That's one. Okay. That's good. You might notice I'm speeding up, obviously, because I kind of just want to like do these, do these things as quick as possible. This is quick. See now, why was this so different than the other one? I probably could have caught that. Uh, I probably could have caught the first one, like the real. Was that a shiny? Do you got shinies in this game? I'm sure you guys do, right? Maybe. 
Maybe, 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 maybe. Okay, that's another one. Uh, let me get that Yazerski. That's that's two. Okay, you're. How you doing, King? Talk to me. All right, let's go. I need you to do something for me right now. I need you to die. Me eat that up, chomp that out. Let's go. And that is all you were good for. Thank you for dying. Thank you. That's all I needed from you. Yep. Let me get an attack really quick. Let me get another. We get one attack, one defense, and then another speed. Thank you. Thank you. That's three. I don't know what the number was originally for what we were gonna do, but uh. Okay. What do you have on you? How much do you have? You have fast strike. Fast strike is. So first, claw, sand, normal. Okay. Little tackle, quick attack, and sand attack. <laughs> I mean, at least it wears its Pokemon inspiration on the sleeve. I mean, I like that actually. Hello, sir. You should be the the second to last one. I'm gonna assume. No, let's do this again. Do this. Do this. Chomp, eat that up. Chomp, eat that up. He's, look at him. Should I do something? There you go. Nibble guard. Okay. That's four. That's four, right? Yo. That it? Is it it? Is that... Uh... Fighter is more, though. It's not over here. Where, though? Over here. Another one right here. Okay. Lower you. What is this? That's a speed. Okay. That's a speed move. Okay. Kind of like that. Okay. So he has a speed and a lower defense move. So I can just do whatever I want now. There you go. That's five. Mink. Wow, thank you so much for this. I want to get with the parents for some more tree cutting practice. See you. Thank you. Where is the last one at? Well, this mod's in here. Really? That's good to know. Somewhere in the back for this, maybe? Hello, miss. How did you get up in the house? Sir? What the hell? <laughs> How the heck did you get up in the house? What the What just happened? Do it again, man. All right, there you go. That's all you needed. That is all you needed. Faint, faint squirts? Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? Disable that and enable this. Yeah, okay. There you go. That's six. I found it. Okay, there you go. Let's go over here and talk to Baby G really quick, because that's just who we got to talk to, right? Hello. How you doing? What's our channel? Can I help you? Hello again. I managed to find all six. Beezle. Oh, that's great to hear. Thank you so much for your help. We don't have much, but I can give you this stinky disc as a reward. It, if you give it to a leading next core mon of your squad, it will help you repel wild core mon. Okay, well, that'll come in handy. You're welcome. If you ever need any help. Yo, I do. Heal me. Thank you. I love you. I don't know your name. Well, I do know your name. My name is Beth, but excuse me, miss. I'm leaving. Bye. All right. So I think we did all the things that we could do up in uh, up in this town, minus giving old girl the book. But I don't care about that. I think we can go on to progress in the next town going south. But you kind of want to grind up some of my moms before we do any of that. I'm going to end this off right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you guys are new. And uh, I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.